Several methods in graphing or solving for the system of linear equation, and one of them is graphing. Now, for today, we're going to uh, solve linear system using this method, and to be able to understand uh, and solving linear system using the graphing method, you should be aware or familiar with the slope-intercept form. Now, the slope-intercept form is given by the formula y equals mx plus b, where m is our slope and b is our y-intercept. So, in our previous lesson, we are able to graph linear equation using this form, and we're going to use this skill in uh, solving for the solution of a linear system using this method. Now, for example, we have a linear equation, let's say y equals 1 third x minus 2. Graphing this particular equation of the slope-intercept form will be really simple. Since our y-intercept is at negative 2, that means we'll start at negative 2 along the y-axis. This is your y-axis, and this is your first point, which is y equals negative 2. Now, the slope will determine the second point of our line. So, since our slope is 1 third, we will move 1 unit up and 3 units to the right. 1, 2, 3, and this point right here, when we connect it with this first point, we'll be able to create a line, which is basically the line of y equals 1 third x minus 2. So this is our first linear equation using the slope-intercept form. And if we have y equals negative 4x plus 1, and we need to graph it using the slope-intercept form, we will start at positive 1, and we will move 4 units down since the slope is now negative. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 units moving 1 to the right. Now notice that every time we move along the x-axis, it's always to the right. So that's one technique that you need to remember when graphing an equation using the slope-intercept form. We always move to the right. So when we connect the line, this is our line, or the graph of the linear equation, negative 4x plus 1. Now, this is just the skill that we need to remember on how to um, graph a linear equation using this form because today we're going to solve system of linear equation. So for example, we have this line right here represented by this ruler and this second line is our second ruler. Now in solving system of linear equation using graphing, we're basically graphing this line right here and this line right here in one um, Cartesian plane or XY plane and we are going to determine where these two lines will intersect and the point of intersection of these two lines is basically the solution of our linear system by graphing and that is our goal today to be able to find the point of intersection of the two lines using this method so let's have our first example so in our first example, the linear system that we're going to solve is y equals negative 1 half x plus 2 and y equals negative 3x minus 3. So we need to find the solution of this linear system by using the graphing method. So once again, let's say this is the first line and this is the second line. When we graph them and figure out where the point of intersection of this line or this system of linear equation, that is basically our solution of the linear system. So let's graph the two linear equations so we can solve the solution of this linear system. So in example number one, we have y equals negative 1 half x plus 2 as our first line, and the second line is y equals negative 3x minus 3. So the first thing that we need to do is to graph the first line at y-intercept equal to 2. So this is our y-intercept, which is 2, and since our slope is negative 1 half, it means we need to move down 1 unit, and then we will move 2 units to the right. So 1, 2, and this will be our second point, which when we connect, will form a line. So this is the graph of our first linear equation. Now for the second linear equation, we are going to start at negative 3 because that is our y-intercept. And since our slope is negative 3, so that means we are going to move downwards 3 units and then move 1 unit to the right. So this is our second point and when we connect those two points, we will create a line. Now, the point of intersection of line 1 and line 2 is the solution of our linear system. And in this method, we're able to solve for the solution of this linear system, which is at negative 2 
and 3. So that's how simple um, solving linear system using the graphing method. So let's have our second example. So in example number two, our system of linear equation is given by y equals negative 4x and y equal to x plus 5. Now to find the solution of this linear system, we are going to graph the first line, which is at negative 4x. Now notice that we don't have a y-intercept on our first linear equation. So that means the y-intercept will lie at 0, 0. So if you don't have a y-intercept, it's going to be at the point of origin and from the point of origin we are going to move four units down because that is our slope and one unit to the right and this is our second point and when we connect those points we will create a line so that is the linear equation negative 4x now for the second linear equation x plus 5 we will start at positive 5 and since you are seeing that there's no coefficient for our x variable, that means the slope is equal to 1 over 1. So in that case, we are going to move one unit up and one unit to the right. And this is the point or the second point of the linear equation y equals x plus 5. And connecting our two points, we'll have our line and you will see now that the solution of our linear system by the graphing method lies in this particular point of intersection which is at negative 1 and 4 and that is the graphing method on solving linear system using graphing